Hello everyone, my name is Aditi Das and today I'm going to talk about determination of protein structure through X-ray crystallography. X-ray crystallography is a very powerful screening tool that is used to determine the three-dimensional structure of any diffracting crystalline structure. This technique was first used by German scientist Max von Lue to demonstrate the structure of copper sulfate in 1912. He was awarded a Nobel Prize for this achievement in the year 1914. Hemoglobin and myoglobin were the first ever protein structures that were determined through extra crystallography by John Kendrew and Max Perutz. The first step towards determination of protein structure by extra crystallography begins with the crystallization of the protein sample. For this process, the protein sample first needs to be purified to a degree of 90 to 95 percent. The more pure the protein sample is, the higher the chances of crystal growth. Then, a high concentration of protein sample is dissolved in a suitable solvent such that a supersaturated solution is created. This solution is then further induced to form crystal structures. This is the rate determining step in any extra crystallography project because the creation of sufficient quality crystals is not only time consuming but also depends on factors such as choice of precipitant, concentration, buffer, pH, temperature, crystallization technique and possible inclusion of additives. After crystallization, protein samples are loaded into the X-ray beam and X-rays are generated by accelerating the beam of electrons emitted from a cathode to an anode. A diffraction pattern of the protein of interest is generated from this, which is then further analyzed with the help of many algorithms and data processing softwares. The data analysis process uses factors such as crystal system and its orientation, the intensities of the spots, resolution, and their phase angles. An electron density map is created based on this analysis, which is then used to create three-dimensional contour in which the protein model will be built in. Currently, there are 750,000 structures of organic molecules in Cambridge Structural Database and over 105,000 structures of biomacromolecules in Protein Data Bank, 90% of which was determined by extracrystallography. This method is definitely a revolutionary process in the field of science. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed this video.